Okay friends, welcome to my second video on the Bloomberg assessment test. So we'll be taking things ahead from where we left in video 1. Even if you have not watched video 1, this would be something independent, so you don't need to worry about that. So what I've done for the Bloomberg assessment test is that I've divided uh, e uh, the test in various topics and made a 20 hour study plan. So the content of this presentation would talk about the strategies, different areas and we'll be going in a little more detail than what we did in the last uh, video. So I'll start with uh, some topics that you can divide and study. Now the whole idea is that the exam is having a particular weightage to a particular topic. So it does not make sense to invest a lot of uh, time in areas that have small weightage. So the biggest area that here that we have in the exam is financial market. That's why I have this uh, second and third class uh, dedicated to the reporting equity ratios that forms uh, a chunk of financial markets. And uh, there are other questions, but again the second biggest area is the fixed income market that includes uh, a little bit of application of economics, uh, swaps, interest rates and uh, quantitative easing effect of these things on bonds and fixed income markets and fixed income derivatives. So that's uh, kind of second biggest area for the exam and therefore I have put in 4 hours for that. And after that the third most important area would be the economics and interpreting the news that we have in the market. And finally some other areas which are a bit smaller like investment banking, Bloomberg terminal, analytical reasoning, reading comprehension and things like that. So I don't claim copyright of any of uh, uh, the things that I am talking about. Uh, the questions or the things that I am talking are derived from three files which are freely available which are published by the Bloomberg. And I would also like to uh, state that I am not an authorized trainer of uh, Bloomberg Institute and uh, uh, I don't take guarantee of accuracy of anything that I am talking about. A little bit about me, I have passed the exam with a 70% score, I have cleared CFFRM level 1 and I have been taking sessions on GRE, GMAT and have created video library so this is kind, an, kind of an extension of those things. So the first and foremost thing is that you need a strategy for the exam, a strategy that works is that uh, you should not leave any topic untouched. I am saying this because the exam is not of a very high difficulty level. But the syllabus is so much that uh, you are not required to actually solve any numerical or do any complex thing. So leave no weakness, have a little bit idea about all of the instruments in finance and all of the news that is going around. Uh, the third point here which is on your screen, time bound game. This is again very important thing and most of the students uh, are not able to take it seriously and uh, fail in the exam due to this point. Now the exam has got uh, equal weightage for each question. So what you can do is that you have to divide uh, time of how you are going to uh, invest your time. So you have to do it on a pro rata basis so just take care of that. Now which area to pick first? I personally think that the thing that you know, you should pick that and finish it as fast as possible. That is what I believe would be the best uh, idea. And the fifth point that I've already told you, have a little idea about everything. RC requires a little bit pre-knowledge and practice, it's kind of a GMAT thing. Again, uh, in 30 seconds if I were to say that you have to read the first line carefully, you have to read first line of each paragraph if something is in inverted commas or if something is bold then you have to give special focus on that you have to use the triggers used in the RC and things like that so you need uh, some idea and some strategy on RC independently those would be like uh, the ones you did in your GMAT so the first part that uh, would take around one hour for you to understand would be the introduction to BAT and uh, this is a 150 questions exam of 3 hours which is divided into 12 sections. Now this exam has got a flavor of each and every one of uh, the CF, FRM, GMAT and the Bloomberg terminal. So it's a kind of, uh, there are kind of areas which are picked from each and every part. Like suppose we have some things called the credit default swaps. 
and uh, their price is being shown on Bloomberg terminal so that is more towards FRM we have the reading comprehension that's more towards uh, GMAT sometime he asked for uh, something uh, from technical analysis a little bit so there is something from all of these exams but the the most close exam which is which matches the Barry CFA level 1 and I think you would be knowing about that okay one thing that is important from uh, a psychological point of view is that you should have uh, a little idea about Bloomberg terminal because when you see that terminal terminal on the exam with some values you should not get bogged up you should not worry about uh, the intricacies and all of the things that it is, it is displaying so you should have a little idea about how this terminal works you can download some powerpoints okay coming to uh, one of the most important areas uh, that's valuation so uh, a chunk of things that we have here that includes uh, the valuation from multiples point of view or valuation using free cash flows that's the DCF methods and computing WAC and betas and things like that so this is something uh, which is more towards a CFA level 2 kind of a thing but again you're not going to get very tough questions so you need to have a little bit idea about how things work investment banking is a separate topic and it's fun so there are questions on merger acquisition synergy and pricing uh, a little bit uh, knowledge about how IPO uh, and uh, something about what happens uh, uh, on how to uh, find out the final stock price when a company acquires the other price and things like that so you can check out this book which is of Villay's publication which investment banking by Joe Rosenbaum so that would be a little bit helpful coming to another very important area fixed income the questions here are real market based so suppose you have something happening like suppose after recession uh, people have uh, purchased more treasury or something like that so they could give you a screen and show things like that or suppose uh, uh, the yields of uh, Greece bonds have increased because uh, people uh, think it's risky and on the same screen they can give you the price of credit default swaps so they can give you questions on sovereign bonds, on corporate bonds, on US municipal bonds so these would be the three major areas another basic thing is the duration and convexity so you should be aware about the three types of duration and the basic idea about convexity Another intricate subject which is seen more often in uh, reading comprehension is the asset backed securities which uh, and specifically mortgage backed securities which is uh, a part of the 2007 crisis so you should know a little bit about that ok coming to the next idea you should look at what's happening in the global market today which includes the euro crisis and uh, which includes uh, the uh, CDS trading the ETFs that is being traded today and the ETFs some of the ETFs are being launched uh, uh, major ETFs like uh, are being launched in the last two three years so those would be an those would be another important thing that you should know so you should know about uh, the news especially the EU news you should know about how uh, a recession is working like uh, the news that UK is going into recession so there might be a question on that and things like that another very important thing is the correlation between bonds commodity and uh, the stocks this is one of the favorite things that we have in these types of exam okay economics is another very important part because when you do a top-down analysis economy is uh, the place where you start with so I personally feel that the economics is more like CFLL1 level 2 economics you can check that out and uh, another interesting thing is that interest uh, how interest rate and currency forward are priced so there is an equation on that so and again the importance of uh, Federal Reserve and how it plays uh, a role in uh, stabilizing the market okay so there are three aspects in economics that you are going to see currency interest rate and inflation and how they are related a financial market there would be most this would be the most fascinating area for the exam 
and this is again a high scoring area but people score low the average scores are low if you go there in the chart and or on bloombarginstitute.com and find the average of financial market it's quite low that is because uh, this this spe this specific module requires knowledge about many of the financial intro instruments that includes exotic financial instrument volatility trading etfs that are being launched in the last uh, Two three years carry default swaps and things like that. So take special care about this part. This would be the biggest part, and the game changing part, and has thirty questions. One area that you can uh, look at is uh, understanding all these things using the Bloomberg website and checking out the chart of the day on Bloomberg website. And the final thing is the logical reasoning. This is one of the very challenging part. Now, for those people who are from India, uh, all the questions are very similar to the LR of CAT, which is an MB entrance, but it's not so much seen in GMAT. So, if if you are out of India and you want to check out uh, how this uh, subject look like, you can check out the Indian uh, MB entrance CAT papers, which has questions on data arrangement and the uh, questions where you have to make. Uh, a table out of the data and get to the answer okay this is a, a comparison again I am repeating this uh, CFL level 1 these are the topics so probably this would do it for this small video in case you have any doubts you can email me and uh, in the coming part I will be taking you through each and every uh, topic thank you for being here and best of luck with your preparations